Hey, man, so I made a video yesterday, right? The video was about Israel Adesanya coming back. This is an interview. I'm not going to play it for you. This interview he does with Derek Chisora, he says, I'm going to be back soon. So the video I made yesterday, which barely got any views, I suck. I'm trying, dog. Some videos I make get like 1,000, 2,000 views, which is good for me. And some videos I make get like 80, but I'm trying my best, bro. Okay, so yesterday, oh, by the way, if you see like this thing ripped, I like ripped it on a metal thing, whatever. So yesterday's video was Israel Adesanya is coming back. This I made it. You can go check it out on my YouTube. It was like the last two videos. Israel Adesanya is coming back. And it would be insane if he comes back for UFC 300 and fights Hamza Chumayev. That was me making it yesterday. This morning, I woke up. I open up Instagram. I see Hamza Chumayev posts a new uh, uh, post, right? Post a new picture. It's him choking out um, Usman. And uh, he wrote, his caption is the shh emoji. And I'm like, wait a minute. There's another picture. I scroll and I see Israel Adesanya's face. I swear, when I saw this, I'm like, dog, I called it yesterday. I literally made it 10 hours ago. I barely got any views, but I called it. So, yes, does this mean it's happening 100%? No, it doesn't. But come on, dog. This would be insane, just like I said in yesterday's video. If Israel Adesanya comes back for UFC 300 and fights Hamza Chumayev, it would be insane. And it makes sense, bro. It makes sense. Now, I know Hamza Chumayev's like hand was hurt. He got surgery, but I'm pretty sure he's going to be good for UFC 300, right? Which is April 13th. This fight makes so much sense, bro. In the middleweight division, right? If Israel Adesanya comes back for UFC 300, which is supposed to be a crazy fight, he's not going to fight Sean Strickland in a rematch because Sean Strickland is about to fight Drinkus Duplessis. Obviously, not Drinkus Duplessis because he's fighting Sean Strickland. It's not going to be Robert Whitaker because Robert Whitaker is about to fight Paul Acosta. And in order for a crazy fight to happen, it has to be Hamza Chumayev, man. It has to be Hamza Chumayev. And I swear, man, when I opened up Instagram today and I saw this, I saw him doing uh, this with Usman and with that sh emoji. And I'm like, wait a minute, there's another picture. Oh my God, it's Israel Adesanya. And I swear, I felt so proud, man. I felt so proud because even though I got no views, I barely got views on the video I did yesterday. Hopefully, it starts pumping. My YouTube is weird. Even though I'm nothing, I'm nobody. I'm trash. I'm small. Like, I post a video. It does nothing. It, it gets barely any views. And the next day, I wake up. I'm like, okay, it's a little more. And it starts pumping. It gets like 1,000 to 2,000. And I get really happy because, you know, it's like a drug, bro. When you get, Especially when you're small. When you're not used to getting a lot of views and likes. You know, it's cool. But what I'm trying to say is when I saw this today, I'm like, dog, my prediction yesterday it's going to come true. Israel Adesanya and Hamza Chumayev, and that's going to be a great fight. I know a lot of people are saying, oh, like, uh, Israel Adesanya is going to get mauled. Israel Adesanya is going to get mauled. I don't see that fight like that, right? I, I, I'm a big fan of Hamza Chumayev, huge fan of Hamza Chumayev. The guy is a freaking monster. And I know some people don't like Israel Adesanya, but you can't deny how great he is as a fighter. You can't. So to me, when I see Israel Adesanya, when I think about Israel Adesanya and Hamza Jumaev, like I just think about Israel Adesanya's crazy striking, crazy kicks with Hamza Jumaev, who are also has great striking and is wrestling. And if Israel Adesanya can stuff the takedown, right, can just work on the takedown, he could beat Hamza Jumaev. But also, if Hamza is if Hamza is like fighting at an elite level, right? We all saw the Usman fight. It was a close fight. And a lot of people thought Usman got hurt. But you also, like, there's, there's two ways to look at that fight. Usman was on a freaking 10-day notice, 12-day notice, which is nothing. The guy came off the couch to fight Hamza, a, like a monster. And Hamza broke his hand the first, I think it was the first round, broke his hand. And he said that's why he wasn't able to throw a lot of shots. But it was only three rounds. Imagine Israel Adesanya versus Hamza Chumayev. Five rounds, both are healthy, both great training camps. I just, I need to see this fight, and it's going to be amazing. I'm just curious. I hope they make this fight, and, you know, UFC 300 is supposed to be crazy. I know Dana White announced some fights, you know. They're great fights, but they're not like, oh, my God, this fight is insane. This is going to be one of those fights. If it happens, Israel versus Hamzat, 
It's going to be one of those fights everyone talks about. And I hope they make this fight. Let me know what you think of this in the comments. Do you think Israel Adesanya and Hamza Chumayev is possible for UFC 300? And if that fight does happen, who do you have winning? Comment below. Let me know what you think of this in the comments. And it will mean the world to me if you like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification. Thank you so much for watching.